In this video, I'll be doing a review of the Tournament Vacuum Cup. I'll be showing you how to use them, how to set them up, and most importantly, how to use the double taping technique. Double taping technique allows you to basically effectively utilize the vacuum cups using the most modern taping technique to avoid any sort of blisters, edema, or any other, other issues that you typically see uh, when you use the vacuum cups. It's gonna be a very interesting and educational video, so let's get started. So first, let's do a brief overview on the about the Tournament uh, Vacuum Cups. So essentially, you can buy the Tournament Vacuum Cups um, what I recommend is buying them in a package so you can even uh, you can either get like the ultimate package which is $125 that basically gives you uh, the vacuum cups gives you the sleeves that you're gonna need the sleeves and um, this little gray band that you're gonna need um, you could uh, that's $125 you could also just get like the all-day stretcher kit um, that's $67 basically give you three vacuum cups the sleeve the gray band uh and uh in a leg strap which you know uh that's kind of optional if you want to use it or not um you know what the leg strap is called an all-day stretcher in any case that's 67 dollars um you could also just kind of build it out yourself if you go to the tournament side and you hit accessories you can buy just the vacuum chamber only um that's 21 dollars the sleeve which is 15 dollars and uh, and the uh, and the gray band which is 50 cents so that's the most economical um however keep in mind um if you go under accessories and buy just a vacuum chamber the turn one dollars is only for one vacuum chamber so to me i feel like if you just get a package um you get a lot more options you get the three sizes and um you know it comes with a lot, a lot of other things um also you so one thing i need uh, i forgot is you're gonna need the pump so um you know instead of trying to build it out yourself and being cheap about it just get like the all day vacuum stretcher kit which is easier uh, you don't have to worry about assembling and putting it all together you get more options um you get three cups so i think it's, that's the way to go so i, I highly recommend if you are going to get the vacuum cup set get the all day stretcher kit that's just 67 dollars and it, this is great value you can use it with the with the total man rod extender or even with other extenders such as the apex or like the upcoming uh, best extender it works great with all those extenders so yeah and if you want to compare it like basically the total man uh, vacuum cups is um it's essentially like the gold standard it's the standard in the pe community uh so a lot of a lot of like um tutorials and things that you that you see being talked about uses the tournament vacuum cups it's just it's just they're very popular and for a good reason because they're very good i've been using them for over three years and uh i've never had to replace them they're like they're they're amazing uh, i think i had to replace it one because i think i lost it uh, while i was moving so um the only other cups that are better than the uh the Tournament Vacuum Cups is the LG Hanger. The LG Hanger is around $300. It is custom size. And the only reason you would want to get an LG Hanger is if you're hanging heavy, more than say like 12 pounds, um, the vacuum cup, the Tournament starts slipping out. And so if you're going that high, like 12, like 15 pounds, you know, I think it's like around the maximum that you can get away with the Tournament Vacuum Cups, uh, then you can get the LG Hanger. I really like the LG Hanger. It's great quality. I had a, I have a review video, so check that out if you're, more, uh, if you're interested on it. Um, so if you want to splurge, this is a great option. Um, the only difference is like this is way bulkier, as you can see, uh, compared to like, uh, you know, your standard uh, cup here. So it's just, you know, a little bit bulkier. This one has a slightly slimmer profile, as you can tell. Um, this is, these are the ones that I, that I use personally so yeah this one's just a little bit bulkier but it's great the lg hanger is great quality i do not recommend things like the aliexpress uh ones uh like cheap ones other other people use uh like the penny master pro or like the final sam forte um i don't have much experience with those i did try out like the aliexpress ones i i hated it like they just weren't nearly as good so um, i highly recommend that instead of cheapening out being cheap about it uh, just get the uh, you know get the tournament vacuum cups i mean if you're like if you're in america i don't think 67 dollars it's a whole lot of money maybe if you're like in another like you know third world country or whatever um maybe you can try out the aliexpress ones but uh i highly recommend that you just check out the the total man vacuum cup so it's a it's a great deal they're great quality they're not that expensive and they're essentially the gold standard uh in the pe community okay so now i want to show you um everything um well i'm going to show you the cups and uh what comes with the with the set um if you want to see a full unboxing, check out the other video in which I did the Tournament 4.0 kit uh, Ultimate Package unboxing. Uh, so this was kindly sent to me by uh, Tournament, um, and uh, so I greatly appreciate it. However, these are all my opinions, and um, but you know, as you, as you can tell, I, I'm a big fan of the vacuum cups for sure. Uh, so there, essentially, there's five different sizes of the vacuum cups. So it's one, two, three, four, five. 
uh, one obviously being the smallest and five being the biggest um the ones that come by default if you buy like the kit like the ultimate package or the stretcher kit are uh, two three and four and these are these are things will, will fit like 99 percent of men um the smaller one obviously if uh you know if you kind of have like a, a smaller uh member and then there's the monster one like which is fucking gigantic i mean uh yeah congratulations if you uh you know if you can use that uh, the one that I personally use is just the the three one, so right smack in the middle. And um, keep in mind um, <clears throat> that it should fit you snug uh, while erect. So I'm going to show you the double taping technique in a little bit. But first, I'm going to show you how to assemble it. So um, you know, so basically, there's a sizing guide, <clears throat> but I highly recommend that you just get the uh, two, three, and four, and like you're basically going to be safe unless you like have like a monster or like a you know um a, uh, a smaller than uh, than average uh penis so uh so for that i'm just gonna go into um which one do I need? Yeah. so i'm gonna put these other ones aside uh, just so i can focus on uh showing you how to put it together uh so <clears throat> so <clears throat> what's gonna come in the kit is this little valve so you can see this little valve you need to make sure you insert the valve into the cup and always always make sure that this little rubber band this little blue section here goes down goes into it okay a lot of people and i've made this mistake especially at the beginning put it upside down and then uh, the vacuum cup doesn't hold the the vacuum doesn't hold the pressure um and so they end up basically losing pressure and then they complain that it doesn't work you have to make sure that it's the the little seal this little rubber band uh, rubber thing goes inside goes on the inside of the cup like this so then you just put it in and you push it in nice and tight um the cup has this little this little uh this little thing here and you can use that to basically take it out sometimes it's difficult to take it out so you just put that in there and then you can use it to take it out it's quite handy um to you know to uh to take to take it out essentially so make sure it's snug in there push it in as much as best as you can i like to use like my fingernails to kind of push it in and make sure it's nice and snug so that's the first thing um so next is um is the sleeves which are very very important so these are like the different uh size sleeves that you're gonna need um i personally like to use the the 1.25 diameter one so i recommend that you know depends on your size i would rec uh i would kind of get two get like the the 1.25 and the like the one inch diameter one uh those are great so they also have like a bigger one but the bigger one is like too loose at least for me uh so this is like you can get like the smaller one like the one inch or the 1.25 um well you can go refer to your their sizing guide i think their sizing guide for the sleeves are quite good uh, so you can refer to the total men's side uh so i like to use the 1.25 so that's the one that i'm going to focus on so what you're going to want to do is uh get a ruler and you're going to cut out a piece of the of the sleeve and this sleeve is going to be uh two inches two inches long so you're going to take your ruler you're going to say okay that's two inches you're going to grab it and the way that you hold it is you have to hold it with this kind of like this type of grip right look at look at like the thumb look at how i'm holding it like this and kind of stretch it out uh then you're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna try to do your best to make a um a very good uh, cut that's straight you can see it doesn't have to be perfect there you go so this is uh i'm gonna come back to this in a second and this, so make sure you save the rest of the sleeve is very very important um so then uh basically you take your your vacuum cup and you're going to uh put on the the sleeve on the cup okay here you go so make sure that it's flush around the sleeve is flush against this uh, like groove that's on the cup up here just kind of push it in um you know make sure that it's nice and flush okay so there you go so it's in there uh next you're going to uh, basically push this in push this into the cup itself so it looks like this and you're going to take the gray band that they provided you and you're going to put the gray by gray band on okay so you're going to put the gray band on make sure there's like no folds and what this does is helps create uh um keep the uh the sleeve in place on the vacuum cup okay so there you go so you have the vacuum cup on um and then um and then you're good to go so now the vacuum uh the vacuum cup is all set up you're ready to go so next uh let's say that you're ready uh to start using it uh, so what you're gonna want to do is prepare the cup. Uh, to in order to prepare the cup for usage, uh, you're gonna turn this. Basically, you're gonna invert it. Okay, you're gonna invert it so it looks like this. Okay, so essentially you're gonna invert it so it looks like this, and it should be like flush against the cup here. So that's what it should look like. Okay, and now the cup, yeah, you're, uh, you're ready to go. 
Um, and next, I'm going to go ahead and um, move on to the double taping technique, which is um, which is the most modern taping technique. So let's go ahead and go into that. Okay, <clears throat> so now you're gonna go back to your um, to the sleeve that you had before, and you're um, and you're going to basically cut out three pieces of this uh, from the sleeve that are one inch uh, in length. So you're gonna measure like one inch. Doesn't have, doesn't have to be perfect. And again, use like the pincer grip. Use the pincer grip, and then grab your uh, grab your scissors and cut three pieces. These are one. That's one. Let me show it again. It's two. Then one more. There you go. There you go. So here, I actually ended up with four pieces. Typically, you're only gonna need three, but these are very important. These notice how they're like one inch. They, they don't have to be absolutely perfect. Uh, these are what we call um, girth bands. Um, and but essentially um, they're gonna be used for the taping so these are very very critical for the uh, double taping technique so next we're gonna bring our good old friend mr. slappy thanks for making an appearance mr. slappy and um, and so I'm gonna show you the double taping technique here so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is get an erection so you know what I like to do is put on a little bit of porn uh, and I like to lay back and lay down on my back pillow on my bed put a little porn on my laptop kind of next to me get nice and hard um, yeah so you're gonna get nice and hard and uh, and so uh, you're going to while you're hard uh, you're at, uh, at the hardest that you can get you're gonna apply the girth band so you're gonna apply the first girth band at the base okay so that's one then you're gonna apply the next one that's two and you're gonna basically stack them on top of each other okay um, and a lot of it depends on like how well um, your er erection holds I like to stack three on top Okay, and that works perfectly well for me. You could potentially also use like a clamp. If you have a clamp, you can apply one and use a clamp. I don't like the clamp. So this this three ba girth band technique is part of the double taping technique. Uh, and you'll see why in a second. So you're gonna apply the three and this is gonna hold your erection uh, quite well. And you have the extra one. Like, so if you need a, need a fourth one, uh, go ahead and uh, throw that on. So, so now you have an erection and essentially here's where the double taping technique comes in. So, um, so you're going to use two types of tape. You're going to use the micropore tape. Okay. You make sure it's micropore tape. I'm going to leave links to these below. Uh, do not get any type of other tape because it's not going to work the same. And then the Coburn wrap again, I'm going to leave the links to this, uh, below. Make sure you get the right Coburn wrap. Don't get anything else. And, um, this is like the kind of like the slimmer one. There's like some thicker one, but you just need like the slimmer one. Okay. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to tape first with the micropore tape. And so, um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So first you're going to cut out a piece. Um, it's going to be about this long. Okay. You're going to cut out with your, with your fingers and you're going to apply it here in the middle straight up the middle and it's going to cover the pee hole so you're going to start a little bit below the coronal ridge here so you're going to start there okay and uh you kind of hold tension up and then you push it down with your other finger so as you hold the tension with one hand you push it down with the other finger trying to make it as, as snug as possible and um and getting rid of uh, any sort of air bubbles as you go you sort of follow it and then you you go down okay so there you go that's your best your first piece of tape very straightforward next you're gonna cut out another piece of tape exact same length I'm gonna cut it uh, and this time you're gonna go at a bit of an angle so you're gonna cover the pee hole still in uh, a little bit of the left side of the of the of the glance or the right I like to go uh, towards my left first so exact same placement but you're gonna angle it slightly towards the left so notice I'm putting it uh, a little bit towards the left and I still hold uh, I still hold it here uh, nice and tight so that there's tension as I go up notice like there's an angle I, I apply pressure down to make sure it tapes okay and uh, there you go so it covers the pee hole and it goes like a little bit over the pee hole here so you know try to c cover the pee hole as best as you can um, and and get you know get a, get to the left here uh, you're gonna do the same for the other side okay so you're gonna do the same uh, exact same you go a little bit over the corona ridge you place it down you hold tension here as you go up you push it down with your fingers okay and uh, you cover the pee hole you go down and then you go down on the other side and there you go cool with well, a double taping technique it, like it doesn't even have to be extremely perfect just you know do your best as i show like hold tension push it down get rid of get rid of air bubbles make sure you you know don't just like kind of half ass it like don't just kind of like put it there without no tension like make sure you do a good job and uh there you go so that's the three first pieces of tape 
okay next you're gonna get another piece of tape this one's gonna be a little bit longer this one's gonna go around the the coronal ridge around the glands it's gonna be about this long okay so you're gonna get that um and i like to start here so essentially you're gonna go down here and you're gonna you're gonna go in and here so um and, you know make sure you cover any sort of exposed flesh on the glands and you're gonna go a little bit uh, about you know about half an inch or so past the coronal ridge here so uh, just kind of see where i place it so i'm covering any sort of exposed skin there and again i'm holding tension as i go down i'm angling it down and i'm pushing down with my other finger okay there you go what i like to do when i get to this point is i tear it off okay with my finger so i tear it off and then i use the other part and i just kind of continue so i angle it here and then i continue on this side okay so again you hold tension you go up and you uh, basically get as much of exposed skin um, as you can notice here so here i think uh you know it's it's okay if you don't go like past the corona ridge it's perfectly fine um you know like i mentioned like this doesn't have to be perfect uh but you, it's, it's critical that you really get like the glands really up until the coronal ridge here so uh either way is good uh this this will work perfectly fine um what i like to do here is just to be extra safe is i'll put a little bit more tape on the pants that are, are the parts that are only i uh, have one layer of tape so like this part you know i'll put a little bit more just to be extra safe on this part put a little bit more tape okay and, and i'll do the same on the other side just grab a little bit more tape okay let's grab it here and then just kind of fortify if you will that section um yeah so that's perfectly that's that's good enough okay so that's the first layer of tape okay so you're good to go next you're gonna take the the coburn wrap and this is where the double uh taping uh even though it's you know it's called the double taping technique um you know i basically i think i'm i coined that term although this technique was originally uh from the lg hanger um uh, team that that uh, gave me this technique and uh you know it's just basically it works absolutely great with the total man cups so uh so we're just basically kind of uh imitating it here and we're calling it the double taping technique so uh so you're gonna basically want to cut uh get the coburn wrap and you're going to cut one to measure about um 13 inches should be more than enough Okay, here so it's 13 inches notice i'm not applying any sort of tension on it here so you're gonna do that and you're gonna cut it okay when you get more accustomed to it you don't need a ruler like you can just kind of uh, uh do it by feel um so these days i just kind of just do it by like you know I, I know exactly how much i need so you're basically this one of the part the trickiest part is you're going to start applying it here you're going to go down so what i like to do is hold it down with one thumb here okay because you know if you don't hold it down it's not going to stay in place like the tape is this is not tape it's not really it doesn't stick to the skin it just sticks to itself okay so you're going to do that and then you're going to apply tension as best as you can is okay so you're going to apply tension and you're going to go down and you're going to basically um wrap around the the glands okay you're going to go around and you're going to come around by the time you come around and it basically touches itself it's going to stick to itself and then you can kind of let go you don't need to do that so um so what i like to do is just kind of go around get like get this part and um and this this top part of the glands uh don't worry about it just yet just focus on like the uh, around the glands and then you go down there's so a camera so you can see it okay so then you go down you go around and uh and then that's basically it so ha here i have actually a little bit extra left over so if i have a little bit left over you just need one layer across so you don't need to worry about like you know uh doing like two two layers of the cobra wrap what i like to do if i have a little bit left over is cut it out okay so i have this little piece left and uh so i'm gonna put that aside i'm gonna use it right now in a second and uh here's what it should look like so now with the cobra wrap basically kind of goes around the glands here the top is still gonna be exposed so what i like to do is i'll take this other piece and i'll i'll stretch it and, and put it right in the middle okay and so the goal is like so there should be uh, no tape no of no micropore tape visible everything should be wrapped by at least one layer of the coban wrap notice here notice here like you cannot see any piece of the of the of the white tape everything is as uh, is has at least one layer of the coban wrap and this is what it's uh that's this is what it should look like so this is the double taping technique okay next i'm going to show you uh, how to apply the cup so uh so for the applying the cup you're going to apply the cup while erect okay so you have the cup erect and um and this 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 uh, technique 
I've been evolving it for quite a while now. So what I'm showing you is the latest and greatest. And so I know I may have had like different sort of versions of the technique a little earlier, but this is the latest and greatest. So anyways, so you basically, you're, you're going to still be erect and you're going to apply the cup and it should just slide in. If you're having problems sliding it, you can sort of uh, be careful and by kind of like twist it a little bit, you know, and the copper wrap is going to help it twist it. You do not need lube. You do not need oil and nothing like that. You don't need anything like that. And essentially you need to make sure that the tournament logo is on top. Okay. That is nice and straight and you're going to push it in as much as possible. Make sure that it's nice and snug. It should be nice and snug here. So notice how there's basically very little air inside of it. There's very little empty space. So you're going to push it in. Okay. Um, so all of this while it's still erect. Okay. Make sure that the logo is on top. Make sure that this is basically uh, perpendicular or whatever, um, like this. So you're going to quit when you apply traction. So all of this, you're still erect. You're still erect then while you're erect you're going to roll down the sleeve so what i like to do is i like to put my fingers inside of it like this and then kind of go down a little bit not all the way at first and i do the same on the other side so i like to put my fingers and i like to kind of push it down here okay push it down like that so this is kind of what it looks like at first okay and um and there you go sometimes i'll do it just i'll start applying traction just like this but um anyways um you're going to basically roll keep rolling down the whole sleeve and this is what it should look like okay so this is uh so now you have the roll whole sleeve roll down and um next because this is such a snug fit um i like to just apply the vacuum while i'm erect as well okay so while i'm erect what are you going to do is you're going to use this accordion uh, pump and um and essentially you're going to use this accordion pump and you're going to insert it okay a lot of people like are confused like they don't really know how to use the this accordion pump um but essentially what you're going to want to do is you push it in, right? You push it in. One is all the way down. You cover these two little holes. I don't know if you can see them here. There's one hole. You're going to cover them with your hands. So you're going to go down, cover the two holes, and then pull, pull it up. And you're going to pull it up, okay? And that's going to seal the vacuum. You can do it again. So push it down. When you push it down, do not cover the holes. When, you, when you're at the bottom, cover the holes, and then you pull it up while you're covering the holes and this is what it should look like you're covering uh covering the holes and you're pulling up on it and that's going to create uh the vacuum the vacuum seal next once that's done you can just remove it and uh you're gonna have a very good uh you know vacuum seal here it's not going anywhere and that's basically um and before you apply any sort of tension on it get rid of the girth band so do not do not apply tension yet you tape while direct you apply the vacuum cup while direct but do not apply tension while erect. Do not do traction while erect. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take the girth bands. You're gonna take all the girth bands off. Uh, wait, you know, wait, like stop watching porn at this point, wait for your erection to go away. And then you can start applying uh, tension with the, you know, either like the apex, the best extender or the total man extender, or you can, you know, you can do vacuum hanging here, whatever. Um, and this is going to hold. And this is, this double taping technique is essentially going to um, stop you from getting blisters. It's when you, when you take it off from this, it's going to look very, very pristine. And that's actually what I want to show you is how do you take it off? So, so once you're done, it's like super, super simple. So you basically are going to break the seal. So you start basically kind of taking that off. This is going to break the seal and then you can kind of take it off, uh, you know, roll back the sleeve and then just pull it off. Boom. And then you're done here. Um, you can essentially now take the first layer of the wrap off. So you can take the first layer off and and then you can take the Coburn wrap. The Coburn wrap, it comes off painlessly. It does not stick to skin. So that just comes off very, very easily. Now the tape, a lot of guys have a lot of problems. I don't know why I like taking the, the tape off. It's super simple. Go to the bathroom, run a little bit of warm water. And essentially you're going to let the warm water run over it. You can kind of help it with your hands, kind of run it over, um, you know, uh, rub it into the, the tape. And then just kind of slowly, it's going to take like uh, maybe a minute or so. And then slowly kind of... Uh, rub it in it's going to just start coming off uh, like i like to say like butter so you're basically going to rub on the warm water go a little slow you know if, if you feel like any sort of pain just kind of rub more warm water in it and you're going to take it off rub, you know as you rub the water and boom it's going to come off like super painlessly uh super easily throw this uh throw this away and uh and essentially you're good to go so there you go that's the double taping technique and there you go that's the double taping technique and an overview and review of the total man vacuum cups that was a pretty um educational video 
so if you like this video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's get those likes up boys let's get the subscriptions up boys and stay tuned i'm gonna have a lot more content coming up and make sure that if you like this video check out these other videos which may be relevant to you and i'll see you next time peace